Hi, everybody. I want to thank my subscriber for sending along this article, Verizon 5G to launch in Sacramento in 2018. I want to clear up some confusion that I got in the comments section, people leaving uh, all different kinds of comments related to the 5G rollout. Some people thinking that the 5G rollout, it's not going to start until the latter end of 2018. I don't know where they got that information from. Verizon already has been rolling it out in 11 cities. Uh, Ann Harbor, Atlanta, Barnardsville, Brockton, Dallas, Denver, Houston, Miami, Sacramento, Seattle, and Washington, D.C. AT&T has been rolling out 5G in cities. I have subscribers who have informed me that they are stuck with 5G already. In Arizona, I have a subscriber who um, had tried to get internet and wanted the internet to be grounded with the ethernet cord and it was an impossibility. They don't want anybody to be using the ethernet cord. They want everybody to be wireless on the grid and 5G is what will connect the Internet of Things and all of the billions of sensors that Hewlett Packard has dropped on the environment, all of those sensors that we've been breathing in because they have been, no joke, spraying nanosensors that cross the blood-brain barrier. So we may very well have sensors in our brain and we don't even know it. And no, they don't need our consent to do that. I am always upset when I have posted so many videos on this subject, but that channel is gone. So I can't point to those videos uh, that I did on those subjects. All right. Um, 5G is already operating in several communities in our country. So when my Arizona subscriber wanted to get grounded internet and it was just an impossibility and then found out that they were only installing 5G and that subscriber is stuck because she's got children in school and they have homework assignments that are delivered via the internet. So, people are getting stuck. They have no choice but to get 5G. This is very, very dangerous technology. I posted videos on our former FCC chairman who said, we're not even going to study it. We are just going to roll it out. To hell with the precautionary principle in this country, for sure. So, um, I also want to clear up a bit of confusion on um, uh, Jerry Brown video, videoing. He vetoed a bill recently, but that veto did not mean that they stopped the rollout of 5G in California. He simply vetoed a bill that would allow the telecommunications industry to usurp the power of local governments to fight against the telecommunications industry installing these 5G, uh, their, their 5G cellular equipment. That's all he did. So 5G is still being rolled out. Clearly, it, Verizon's rolling it out in Sacramento for you guys to be using 5G in 2018. And so many people they just refuse to do the research on the dangers of this technology. No, they're just really excited. Man, I'm going to be able to download faster. Um, so this bill that he vetoed, what is the bill? Congress has passed a bill allowing the telecommunications industry to usurp local governments power and 
allow them to install these towers, these panels, these antennas, anywhere they so wish. And communities around the country have been fighting uh, this with their town councils and their local governments and getting nowhere. And their local governments are saying, well, there's nothing we can do. Where there's nothing we can do, Congress passed the Telecommunications Act and it allows telecommunications industry to just put a cell antenna on your front lawn. Okay, um, there are a lot of communities across the country who are fighting tooth and nail uh, against this gross infringement of the Constitution, Congress allowing the telecommunications industry to do whatever the hell they want. Wow. Well, when you have a fascist government, when corporations merge with government, that means you have fascism and corporations have all the power. So, you should recognize that we don't have a constitution anymore because the treasonous pigs in Washington, D.C. have destroyed it. All right. Um, I, the, the, there are so many areas, local leaders oppose state law that could turn utility poles into the cell phone towers. Um, states, governors have also been acquiescing to Congress and allowing the telecommunications industry full power. And I will let you listen to this government lawyer in Maryland, Rockville, Maryland. Rockville, Maryland has really been trying very hard to fight against the 5G installation in their communities. And if you watch some of these videos, which are uh, a lot of them are on Safe Schools, this channel, which I will link to below. Yeah, my name is Andy um, And if you have parents, if you have children in school, you need to subscribe to these channels because they have an awful lot of experts who are talking about the dangers of this technology, but here EPA scientists opposed to small cell antennas in Montgomery County. And he speaks, the EPA scientist, he speaks of the science that shows that this technology is very dangerous um, to all life, but to our health and especially dangerous for children. So listen to this government official, and he is reading the telecommunications provision that allows the industry to do whatever the hell it wants to do. And we're what? And if you want to take a note, this is 47 U.S.C. 332 C7 D little four, and it says no state or local government or instrumentality thereof may regulate the placement, construction, and modification of a personal wireless service facility on the basis of the environmental effects of radio frequency emissions to the extent that such facilities comply with the commission's regulations concerning such emissions. So I, I, need, to I need to apologize to, the, uh, to, to uh, Carrie, I guess it is, right, for, for Nancy, for my, my reaction. I just, but we're, we're, we're not telling stories here. I mean, this is a limitation, and the gentleman's question is something that you're right, that perhaps the courts will resolve someday as to what's... Okay, look, we really need to change our psyche and to take back our own individual power and not let these government officials um, just, you know, usurp, you, usurp your own power. They are not fighting for their residents. They are simply allowing Congress to dictate to them what they can and cannot do. This is not how this country was founded. It was founded with the states having more power, local governments having more power than federal government. But now our federal government has usurped all power. Um, and it's not okay, and every resident should tell 
these uh, people who sit on these town councils in these communities across the country, they should be telling them that it's so not okay for them to just say, nothing we can do, sorry. There is something they can do. They can fight to take back their power. Okay. I also want to ask, right before my channel went down, Kafka Winston World, I had a private playlist with uh, videos on it that I had wanted to post. Well, it just got taken down, so I don't have access to that. And I cannot remember the titles of every video. But somebody sent me a video, and it was very interesting. It was talking about how we can hold accountable government officials by sending them um, letters stating that we will hold them accountable for any harm that is committed by any act that they do in their official capacity. If I'm even remembering this right and if I have clearly articulated what that video was. I think that may have happened with Jerry Brown. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, could you please leave either a link or a comment below. Yes, my memory is bad and it is uh, a, just a source of continual frustration. But it is holding liable county officials, government officials, anybody in official capacity, any CEO holding them personally accountable. And that's what needs to be done here. We are losing the fight. I posted I don't know how many videos on residents of counties, of cities across this country who are fighting to stop this 5G rollout. And they are getting nowhere because their town officials are just throwing up their hands and saying, well, the Telecommunications Act, that, that's powerful and we, we just can't do it. Are we really going to sit back and take this? Are we really going to sit back and allow Congress to allow corporations to do whatever the hell they want to do to us? Yeah, we need a psychic change here within the American people. I'll link below to all of this. Um, 5G, very, very dangerous. Um, I reposted some videos on my channel, Never Lose Truth, from my channel, Kafka Winston World. Um, if anybody has any Kafka Winston World videos that you, you uploaded to your channels, could you leave a comment below and let me know? Because, no, I was unable to save every video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a great night.